hi everyone welcome back to my tinker ting thing channel uh thank you very much for everyone who is coming and thank you everyone who is subscribing if you're not yet subscribed maybe consider to subscribe you'll see what we show today what we talk about today actually straight away first thing this is my dj pen i will put their uh, their web page up as well where you can order their facebook page they're doing every day i think so me please if you see the pen you write down in the comments me please you will get given a number and then they're doing this draw uh, i won this pen on a giveaway fantastic beautiful pen then i'm working with the little beautiful trays which ones are coming from bella art and nicole i will put that one as well in the description box and I'm using the toolbox or storage cases, which ones are coming from Amazon. I can link that one as well, but I'm in UK. I'm not sure how it will work if you are somewhere out from the different place. Why I'm recording this whipping chat? That's not actually kind of like a whipping chat because I'm not doing whipping chats for very long already. Ah... Uh, my beautiful beautiful bestie chef diamond stalked me in uh in the questions how it was how how you saying yeah in the questionnaire like a, she she been tagged as well by someone else and she needed to answer like 20 questions and she decided she want to tag me i already know next person which one who whom i will tag in but yeah first let's see oh i'm working on a painting which one comes from the aliexpress and it's the colorful hummingbird as you can see i have a bunch of lots of colors it's actually only 31 and i stick together and i made myself like a sheet like this it's actually a very long sheet but i just stick together things that it's easier for me to work on Let's see, let's find first color which one we will be working on and then we can start our questions. Oh, I have 20 questions to re reply on, not reply on, but to answer. Sorry if I'm saying something wrong. It's early morning, for, not early morning, but it's morning for me. And again, I'm sorry about the yawning, but I can't do anything about it every single time and I'm coffee time guys from virginia coffee mug from virginia from my beautiful chef diamonds gift as you can see she lives in virginia and she sent me a starbucks coffee mug i have a bunch of her starbucks coffee mugs oh my god am i clumsy today give me a second guys i'll be back okay i still decided to press record button back for you to see how I'm cleaning up my clumsiness but yeah that's fine if you hear someone coughing on the background that's my beautiful boyfriend uh, he's fine don't you worry guys he's fine but yeah I wasn't doing videos now for very very long I have very busy time very busy summer still everything is very very busy for me kids schools and all the rest stuffs house Stuffs. yesterday i rearranged my son's bedroom he had like a bunk bed with the wardrobe and table all in one and i'm like crazy always with my crazy ideas decided to dismantle it and make it separately everything and that's what i did that's what i did this is not supposed to be there come out and yeah my son came after school and he thinks it's very cool he loves it He's already in a secondary school, year seven, and I decided I want to do that. I think so. He likes it and he likes it. Yes, he do. Let's see, do we have some more? Do we? One more. Where are you? Come on. Oh, more. Okay. They're great color. I can't see them. Okay. Now we collected them. We're working with the number five. Number five is 317. Great. Okay, guys, let's do it. First question is, when did you start crafting and why? 
if you mean since the childhood when I started crafting then it was since I was seven years old and even that time crafting was calming me down and I was doing crochet and cross stitching but if you mean when I start diamond painting then I started it nearly four years ago and uh yes second what is the earliest memory of crafting that you have earliest uh, yeah, like I said, it's seven years old and I was cross-stitching a lot in that time. I really loved cross-stitching. Uh, yeah, that's what I was doing, seven years old. What is your favorite type of the craft? Um, at the moment, I have two. Uh, it's diamond painting and then it's uh, crochet. Yeah, crochet is my second one, but I'm not doing it so much, but yeah, that's my second one. Okay, fourth, best comp best completion so far this year. Sorry, my first language is not English, as you can see. I don't speak London, and it takes me struggle sometimes to read very complicated words, which one's actually not complicated. Best completions this year. Mm, let me think. I did this year few big paintings. One of them was I finished a painting from uh, Dreamer Designs. Uh, I call it Red Door. And that painting gonna go to my father's in law mom. Uh, it really reminds me of her. And then I have a paint diamond arclet painting. I'm calling her Snow White, but uh, the painting's name is... I can't actually remember. That's the princess. I call her Snow White. I change her eyes and things. Uh, eyes and things? My goodness sake. Sorry, guys. You are in a roller coaster today with me. I'm not editing and I'm not deleting anything. You get what you came for. <laughs> I hope so. Mm. Fifth one, best item purchased so far this year. Ooh, yeah, that's probably will be my storage boxes because I purchased few of them, few, few of them. That would be these ones, which ones I found on Amazon. And they're coming 64 in a case and they're coming in this pl plastic box. As you can see, you can close it. 64 they're coming with the stickers in and with the labels as well and they are very good quality and actually very cheap i would say for me it cost like 13 pounds one that the box i mean dollars i think so it would be like 15 maybe 16 something like that this one i didn't purchase that was a giveaway one what else i did purchase this year few items I did I have few paintings which ones like I was excited that I received but that's for maybe for later name something craft related that you want to buy in the future okay craft related what I want to buy in the future that definitely would be one of Josephine Wall paintings, but with a many, many colors. It's like around 200 colors. That's kind of like a dream stuff what I want to get. Um, yeah, that would be it for the moment, I think so. Maybe, oh no, maybe in the future I would like to get like a table. Um how they call in the side, you know, tables, which ones are like desks are on the side, they are bended, that you don't put, uh, look down, it's like art tables, I think so, that's how they call, okay. Um, what craft are you most looking forward to working on later this year? Hmm. Uh, it's always will be about diamond painting, I think so, still. But now I want to finish this and then I have a, a cuddle time from Diamond Art Club, which one is two foxes. And I'm doing, I'm going to do that painting for my son. And only if you listen to my whipping chats or my 
videos before I was doing unboxing for Bumblebee for my son but I put the painting on the side because it's squares that's again topic for different day and different time okay yeah I'm looking forward for the doing both diamond art club paintings which one is cuddle time and another one is with the deers can't remember how that goes but whatever that you will see as well in another video by the way guys just little for oh can't say even biggest crafting surprise mm. yeah my biggest surprise was when i won the giveaway pen that was the hugest surprise i wasn't expecting that one at all biggest surprise was when i ordered a, a cases and some paintings from one company and i forgot that i did it and it came and i really thought that someone gifted to me and i was asking everyone the people gifted to me and after a while i found out that i actually did made the order a while ago and it didn't came and now it arrived <laughs> that was funny that was surprise biggest crafting disappointment biggest crafting disappointment for me is squares square drills that's the biggest disappointment for me i gave them a chance and i thought that i'm excited now and that's it i love squares now more than rounds and i did the purchases paintings with the squares and now i'm disappointed that i did it i wish i could order them in rounds that's my biggest disappointment squares i'm not getting squares biggest oh that's what i've read already number 10 favorite craft supplier oh i don't have favorite suppliers i'm telling the truth like as many suppliers as many opinions you know like i i like things from one supplier i like things from another supplier mm. yes number 11 what crafting tool would you not want to be without diamond painting pen definitely i couldn't work first of all without with those little small tiny pink pens that would be weird already i'm not used to work with them and sorry yawning <sighs> i'm going off my antidepressant i went off already of my antidepressants and this is kind of like after i don't know what i'm doing okay what crafting tool would you not want to be without that i already said that would be a diamond painting pen what is your go-to drink while crafting oh my guys that's definitely coffee it's coffee or coca-cola zero that these two things it's always on my desk yeah uh what do you like to listen to while crafting um there is a two things what i'm listening or it's some people like a youtube channel some videos which ones i missed and i didn't listen which is like nearly everyone because i don't have so much time now to craft and everything else uh and the second thing i'm listening my crime shows not like a true crime but interrogations i'm finding videos where the interrogations hour long videos even more than hour long videos yeah and i'm listening interrogations i i love them actually for me it's very interesting to see how, how they're doing all these things okay uh what other hobbies interests do you have that's crochet i do crochet and i love it but i do like a hat uh hat scarves and blankets and sometimes i'm doing uh coasters for coffee mugs or coasters for and again i'm so sorry and a coasters for flower pots and these are my few favorite things uh what craft activities would you love to try but haven't and why hmm at the moment actually i don't have anything what i would like to try i tried to do paint by numbers but at i but i understood that it's not for me i didn't kind of enjoy it it seems even like more time consuming than than diamond painting but diamond painting i'm 
having the joy, but with the pain by numbers, numb. Okay, that was 15. Number 16. If I looked in your bag, Sasha Rugzak, would there be evidence that you are crafter? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you would probably find the drills. <laughs> Everywhere would be a drills. Trust me, in my house you can find drills in the places where you're not even looking. I think so. Even my in my son's school bag, you can find some drills. Um, what craft-related item do you have far too much of? Uh, storage cases and diamond paintings. Uh, pens, everything, yes. I have a lot of yarn now as well. I wouldn't say it's a lot, but for me it's a lot. Oh, definitely, I have a lot of crochet hooks. Definitely, Tunisian crochet hooks. I have a wooden and plastic and different ones. Like, yeah, crochet hooks, I have a buttloads. Um, but yeah, storage cases at the moment, I have a, like tons. I have a Tic Tac boxes, full huge box with them, which ones I'm not using at the moment. And these round ones, I have like a five five cases in here of these ones I have five upstairs I have six and seven which ones is larger and then I have a the same plastic boxes with the tic tac boxes I think so four or five as well and then there's like um like these ones which ones you're putting in in location in the storage place yeah definitely storage cases Mm, let's see 18 what is what is your top crafting tip oh my top crafting tip is like i'm saying if i'm saying only about diamond painting diamond painting is for joy you need to enjoy it and it's supposed to be stress free if you feel stressed put it on the side if you feel stressed working on some diamond painting put it on the side you're not supposed to feel stressed <clears throat> over while you're diamond painting sorry coffee you're not to feel not supposed to feel stressed while you're diamond painting <clears throat> definitely no that would be the tip diamond painting your craft supposed to be enjoyable not stress not make, giving you stress and anxiety if you feel that it's stress gives you stress and anxiety put it on the side or throw it in a bin say fuck it I know this channel is not for kids, that's why I can say that. Easy as that. Okay, um, number 19. What craft-related item do you enjoy collecting? Storage cases. Storage cases. I love my storage cases. Oh, yes, I have even two, two like, uh, how they call calling suitcases two small suitcases with the with the with the rounds as well as well i don't know guys i'm not english don't judge me uh and the last question if people enjoy your co content what other channels should they check out oh yeah they do if they do if they do they're supposed to check out all my friends, which ones I've been tagging in all the time or time to time. You can go to my oldest videos and you will see people who I'm tagging in time to time. That would be Chef Diamonds. She just started it, but she's moving too fast. It's never too fast. She's moving fast. She's a wonderful lady. She's my bestie. And she's fantastic. Go check her out. I will try to put the link down below she tagged me in and all this madness it's madness i tell you uh next one would be stacy's ritty dp craft she's my second bestie she's always mentioning me in her videos and she thinks i have a tiny tiny hand <laughs> oh, she's cute yeah she's my second she's as well having a youtube channel oh by the way chef diamonds have instagram channel as well i will tag that one in as well she's putting her uh, updates all the time on instagram about her craft and she's a chef and she's putting her food in as well and go check out her channel because she's every single video on end she's putting the food which she's cooking that day for her workplace uh, yeah, the second was uh, Stacy's Ritty DP Crafts. She's a fantastic lady. Um, 
then it would be Gracie's Diamond Painting. I'm not sure that I'm saying exactly right way how her channel goes, but uh, that's my Gracie Boo. I will put her link as well down below. She's fantastic. Then it's um, Rose Prophet Creations. She's fantastic baby girl. And she's now starting uh, her Etsy or how they call it, like as well her... She's, she's creating mugs and all the stuff with this fantastic guys. You should go check it out. I will try to put all the links down below. It will take me a while. Usually when I'm making the videos, the worst part is to put all the links. Really, I'm telling you. I, I just can't. It's terrible. Uh, there's a D creative Chris then. He's a froggy man. If he hear me, I call him Froggy Man. He can kick my ass if he wants to. Haha, <laughs> I'm too far. Um, there's many, many people. Many people, actually, like, uh, who, who I'm listening in when I can and watching when I can. But these few was my go-to, I think so. Who else was from my go-to? No, oh, please don't tell. Guys, if I forgot anything, like, please don't judge me and don't come after me. Like, it's morning for me. I'm drinking my first coffee and I decided to record the video. And if you know me, you know that I always forget things. And I'm just me. And thank you very much for following my crazy me. Okay, we answer all the questions. Uh, chef, if you're watching this video... I, I did answer all the questions. The next person who I want to tag in in all these wonderful, fantastic questions would be... And the golden medal goes to Stacy's Ritzy DP Craft. Stacy, you're in. You're tagged. You're next. I don't know how else to say. Yeah, this video is now over 20 minutes. Wow. I can't believe you was listening to me for 20 minutes, guys. If you listen all this and you think oh, I'm wrong in some places or I said something wrong or whatever, you can write down everything in the comment section down below, guys. I would really appreciate that. And thank you, Chef Diamonds, my beautiful girl that you talked me in. Made me to make a video. Uh, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, next person who I'm talking is Stacy is Ritty DP Crafts. And that would be the short, my short video. I did answer all the questions which I've been tagged in. Oh, I'm finding more drills. Where are you? It's hidden. Whatever. And, yeah... Uh, Stacy, good luck for you with the questions. And for this video, definitely will be it, guys. Thank you very much for everyone who subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much for everyone who is watching and commenting my videos. I know they are I'm not posting a lot, but oh well, what can I do? I, I'm not promising anything to anyone. That's the best thing. I'm just doing when I feel like I want to do it. And I'm not doing it for the work or something. It's just for my pleasure, for me because I want to do it all right and I think so I need to do once few videos in my language as well because before I was doing um, I speak in Latvian and I was thinking that maybe I need to do it but I don't know sometimes I just don't have the motivation to do any videos and again it comes <gasps> I'm so sorry you can count guys how many times I'm yawning on my videos uh, I, I'm going to record a few unboxings and show you a few paintings and few things which ones I got from a few companies. And yeah, guys, for this video, that's it. That's done. I'm done. I will wish you all have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoy the weather wherever you are. Uh, one more thing. I have my coffee account if you want to support my little channel for me to get some new more paintings to show you. Uh, you can pop in in there. I will put this link as well in the description box down below. Like I'm saying, it's not expected, but very appreciated. Thank you so much for that. And yes, guys, have a fantastic day.
and bye.